Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel with Big Fox News. We are learning more about the calls and texts that were made the night Kelly Clayton was murdered. Big Fox reporter Andrea Lopez continues to cover the Thomas Clayton murder trial from Steuben County. Prosecutors called four new witnesses to the stand today, day 16 of the Thomas Clayton murder trial. Most of the day was spent questioning Google, Verizon and AT&T custodian record keepers. Counsel went through both incoming and outgoing calls of Tom Clayton's phone. 68 phone calls between Tom Clayton and Michael Beard were reported from the records throughout month of September 2015. Defense attorney Ray Schlaughter pointed out that these numbers are not out of the ordinary between an employer and an employee. Last to the stand was a longtime friend to Kelly and Tom, Brian Donovan. Just under two months following Cully's death, Donovan spoke of having lunch with Tom Clayton, where they discussed Tom making a late night phone call to Mike Beard the night Beard murdered Kelly. Tom said he used Greg and Linda Miller's phone because his personal phone was dead. Donovan remembers Tom saying he was only calling Beard to inform him of a possible job he had for him. Donovan testified Tom would normally carry around larger sums of money and a passport in his vehicle for gambling trips. But Donovan could not recall asking Tom how much money there was. Lastly, Donovan testified to the seemingly happy marriage Tom and Kelly shared. A new witness will take the stand tomorrow morning when court reconvenes at 9.30 a.m. This is all your latest coverage of the Thomas Clayton murder trial reporting from the Steuben County Court here in Bath. I'm Andrea Lopez with Big Fox News. A local doctor who was the first patient ever to receive an infusion of his own immune cells will be laid to rest tomorrow. Dr. Edward Foster of Elmira was undergoing an experimental cancer treatment at Strong Hospital in Rochester. The 65-year-old suffered from a rare form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. His funeral is tomorrow at St. Peter and St. Paul Church at 10 a.m. Snow is once again falling in the twin tiers. Salt trucks out early as the snow fell, trying to keep slick conditions under control. This is on I-86 near Elmira. And we're not done with the snow just yet either. Meteorologist Kim Walker is in next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, good evening, everyone. It's been snowing all day long, and we will continue that snowing, that snow trend as we make our way into the next couple of days as several systems will be moving through our area. And of course, temperatures have been below freezing for many of our cities. So 29 degrees was the high in Elmira, 32 in Corning, 32, 33 degrees in Mansfield, 31 in Watkins Glen, and also in Bath, and it was 25 degrees in Binghamton. We have that low pressure system, just a clipper system that moving quickly across the state. It will be just to our east tomorrow, but we have another cold front that will make its way into our area, keeping the snow chances in our area for the next few days. It will be breezy tomorrow as well. So in addition to the snow, it's going to be a little bit on the breezy side and it's going to feel a little bit colder than it actually is. So here are your headlines. We are expecting some scattered snow showers tomorrow. It will be breezy. We could pick up an additional two inches or so on your Wednesday and then our snow chances will continue into Friday. Temperatures will be turning colder by the end of the week, especially with that passage of the next cold front bringing Arctic air into our region. So we're going to drop down a few degrees from today. We will see a break from the snow on Saturday, but expect freezing temperatures during the day and then the snow will return by the end of the weekend. So here's a look at your forecast. Temperatures dropping down to around 27 degrees, cloudy with a few snow showers. Tomorrow we are going to see highs around 39 degrees, mostly cloudy and more snow showers in 
our forecast, and then here's a look at your extended forecast temperatures. Will actually be cooler on Thursday with more snow possible. Highs will be around 30 degrees, lows will be in the teens, and then if we drop down to around 25 degrees for the high on Friday. We are going to see a little bit of a break toward the end of the week from the snow, but it's going to be a lot colder as well. Sub freezing temperatures there, and then 33 degrees returning on Sunday with more chances of snow for early next week. And we're going to say pretty cold pretty much for the next seven days, but uh, a little bit of a break by the end of the week from the snow, though. A little bit. That'll be nice to get the break, but yeah, very, very cold, cold. out there. Mm -hmm. Get used to it. Well, how about this? An Idaho family got quite the surprise over the weekend. They woke up to find a moose in their basement. Fish and game officials released these pictures of the cow moose inside the home. And they say the big guy fell through a window well and into the basement late Saturday and officers tried to coax the moose up at the stairs and out the front door, but it charged at them several times. Officers ultimately had to tranquilize the animal and <laughs> carry it upstairs and into the street. Glad everybody's okay, yes. including the moose. Yes, definitely. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for Mike and Molly.